For many years, the Red Sox resembled that other Massachusetts institution, the Equestrian Paul Revere, which stands on a Boston mall. Like the statue, the Sox were symbols of a glorious past, looked ready to go, and never went anywhere. Suddenly, the Sox are more than a symbol and are moving up in the American League with the contained and springy jog of the home run hit. This week, they twice came from behind to stop the California Angels, who arrived on a streak and left in shock, and the Boston crowd filled the park with frenzy. Most awesome statistic of the week was the 34,193 attendance figure for a single weekday game. It was a crowd too large for the old Fenway single stands, and some had to do their rooting from perilous perches. Coach Bobby Dorr, veteran of the great days of Boston baseball, the madness seemed at a new peak. It's, it's fantastic the amount of people that are uh, coming into the games now, and uh, like coming at the airport the other night, I never saw anything like that where so many people uh, greeted the team as we got off the plane. As far as you could see, uh, people were, uh, well, they followed the bus in, pounding on the windows, and it was really a great sight. Owner Tom Yawkey, brooding in this box, has faithfully watched more than a decade of terrible baseball. But in a rare interview, he was restored to the faith he brought to the game a quarter of a century ago. It, it's a new spirit. Uh, it's, a, it's just a different feeling all the way through the whole organization. And uh, I think I say there again, it stands in the clubhouse. I mean, in other words, these young fellows believe in themselves. I don't see how anyone can disbelieve in them. But I've always believed in believing in people that believe in themselves. If they believe they can do a job, they can do it. The strong young Sox treat the short left field wall of their park like a handball court. And their success in bouncing balls off it and popping them over it have more than made up for a pitching staff of modest talent. Whether belief follows breaks or the other way around, the two are often found together and the ground rises up to help the Sox as bouncing balls take off at odd angles. And the grass drips and guides bunch to the consternation of opponents who thought Boston's power was problem enough. Another ingredient of an exciting team is a leader. And if Carl Yastrzemski is not Ted Williams, he is pretty exciting as Carl Yastrzemski. At 27, he is the oldest man on the team, and with this hit, the winner of a night game, which sent a full house away, dreaming of a pennant. Yaz's banners are unfurled by the young, and he seems to be a hero for this generation to match against their father's memory. When Boston was young, Paul Revere roused it to battle. Off and on since it has dozed, the dream of its glorious past, and its baseball fans have slept since Ted Williams left. Now the young Red Sox have ridden into town, and the present is again more exciting than the past. This is Haywood Hale Brune at Fenway Park in Boston.